people welcome to a bit of an exciting video um intel imac adventures episode four and um yeah so this is a 2007 imac i'm going for 26 quid i think 24 something like that um without shipping it's like 17 quid um so it's missing a hard drive um I know that. Um, apparently, it's got two gigs of RAM. Um, I've unscrewed the bomb, so let's verify. Um, how much is six six seven? Um, oh, it says it. Yeah, that's a gig. Yeah, it sounds just gonna assume it's got two gigs. Um, of course, in the future, it will be upgraded. Don't worry. Um, is that the right way? I think that's the wrong way, which is why it's not going in further. Should have checked. Um, but yeah, I'll turn it on in a sec. I just need to get a bootable storage device. Yeah, that's in, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let's plug it in. I'm gonna steal from the eMac. And I'll uh, steal from my 2011 MacBook. The SSD, um, I won't put it in yet. I'll probably actually put it in because of my plan I want to do with this. Um, but yeah, see you in a sec. It all should be plugged in. Sound noise is good. And it should in theory boot to mountain line. Assuming I didn't actually pull out the SSD. Okay. Um, just make sure it's going to turn on when I'm looking at it. No, that's in. Hopefully, this isn't caused by me messing about with the RAM. Um, I'm not actually certain. I can't hear any noise. Well, we're in late. No, I can hear noise. Um, oh, it's so confused. That's just a reflection. I mean, it's very reflective. Probably doesn't help that I have that light on. Mm. Shouldn't I? Hold that option. If the display is dead, then that's going to be a bit of a problem because I do not have um, mini DVI, which is what this uses. Come on. Uh, option down. This might help. Okay, so with me swapping the sticks of RAM the other way round, making sure they're in and stuff, nothing. So what I'm going to do, disassemble. I've done this before, so it's not too much problem. There we go. We've got this off. I've only got one such cup. Can't find the other, so um, yeah, I'll do this off camera. Just make my life easier. Um, I am an idiot. You probably can't actually see this. But, can you? It's proof how. Turn it off. Um, um, hold down. Hold down. There you go. It is on. I can see the screen. 
the backlight's dead, it seems. So if I do that, you still can't really see stuff, but, oh, yeah, that's a bit of a problem. Um, if I do that, oh, yep, yeah, you can definitely see it. Not very well. Uh, but yeah, that's mountain lion. Um, yeah. Ugh. Okay, do I put the glass on? Or do I, well, I guess I might as well put the SSD on. But yeah, it's beated into mountain lion recovery. Um, oh, I'm so annoyed. I'm just, um, I'm pressing down the on option, that should be. I think that's option. And yeah, see you in a bit, I guess. Okay, so I'm good. It's taking, you know, stuff out. Um, managed to get the first screw. And yeah, so on. So just unscrew these. I, I know roughly the process of doing this, so. I'll look it up after I've got the aluminium bit off because I can't exactly remember. It's been quite a few months. Okay, so I'm, the screw um, has just sort of been... Um, three of the screws are stuck. So like one there, one there, and one there, yeah, roughly. So I'm going to instead try and do a thing. Um... Unfortunately, there's not really going to be any screen recording because of the nature of what I'm going to do. I don't have a photo capture card and I don't have, like, an adapter. Uh, what is it doing? I don't see anything on the screen. Will we, anything? Let's just take it off. What's that for? Oh, okay, I see the Apple logo. You can sort of vaguely see the Apple logo as well. Um, yeah, this is really not particularly good. What if I have it like that? Oh, I can't really see the lower half of the screen though. But, uh, mm. Okay, Oops, still want the Apple logo. Um, yeah, so what I want to do is try and install some partition this drive up properly and have various versions of macOS installed. Still on the Apple logo, no, it's not. That's no, on here. I should probably configure the stop disk because otherwise it's just going to go into the Mac OS utilities like it has right now, so, um, oh yeah, so okay, so now I don't, neat, uh, um, yeah, this is really painful, so I'll do this off camera, so two things, um, first off, I've made my mouse cursor, as large as possible because I keep on losing it. And second off, I've increased the contrast for better contrast so I can see things better. Um, normally having it like that makes it really less or harder to see. Um, what if I do that? That technically works. I'm resting it. Um, so... Let's try and get another Mac OS installed. Or actually, alternatively, turn to disk utility. The main disk. Uh, partition. And here's like a bunch of partition. Uh, 
that I haven't seen me in this place before. Back away. Um, open BSD, reserved, Linux, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to partition this so it's going to have an install of every version of macOS that I will be able to run. Let's go. So I'll do that and then I'll do an internal install partition which I'll use to install these macOS versions. So let's get to work I guess. Okay, so I've semi-partitioned. Um, now what I'm going to do, um, make sure I put my phone like that, my phones. Um, what I'm going to do is I will be going to Macintosh Garden. Oh, it's very really hard to... Don't want to put space. And I'm going to install Tiger first because that's the first version that it can run. Oh, it's not connected to the internet. That's a me problem. Hang on. Okay, so I'm currently installing the thing. I'm putting the phone the wrong way around, which one my name is blocking the screen. Um, yeah, so I'm installing the, well, downloading the file required and what I do is I'll um, copy it over to like the reserved partition or really any partition that isn't being unused, which is basically all of them. Um, but I'll do it in a reserve to prevent confusion. Um, yeah, copy that onto there, um, boot into it, install, blah, 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 blah should be relatively simple. Okay, so let's explain what's going on. It has been um, made, there, there's a um, thing. So, theoretically, if I go move my mouse down here. Oh, my XMP P server seems to be down and reboot into Tiger Installer. Vertically, I should be able to install it. Also, I'm going to complain about something. It really annoys me that the LCD, LC, the, the, the screen, the LCD, whatever, um, has quite a big fingerprint muck on it. I thought it probably did really from what I can tell, I don't think they've really cared about this iMac. And to be fair, they probably didn't. Because in the description of the um cell cell um on the description of the page for this on eBay, it did say um it would be going to the dump on Monday, which was two days ago, because it's Wednesday, uh, if it didn't sell. So I've saved it from, saved this, I've done the responsible thing of saving this on that okay, it's in the installer now. Oh, it was being a bit weird there. But yeah, use English as the main language. Uh, oh God, I can't see the mouse. Actually, I saw a bit of move. Yeah, this is a, uh, bit annoying when you yeah I can't see it um, but yeah I'll get on with this okay so I've selected Tiger what I'm going to need to do um, since I can't I don't think you can really emulate having multiple discs uh, oh wait no this is actually the wrong thing in the next page here I customise um, let's go um, what to install um, and what I'm going to do is skip you know, printer drivers additional fonts language translations I don't know if bundled applications would work basically make the install 
as minimal as possible and see how long this takes. Um, this is going to be limited. Despite this being an SSD, this is running on USB 2.0, which is, of course, slower than USB 3. Um, and it would be limiting the S SD. And here we go. So it's currently 1757. And let's see how quick this goes. See you in a sec. So, um, it has finished and it's about to restart. Um, it, um, it's, it finished at 50, um, at, um, six past, um, 18.06, so it took nine minutes. Not bad. Although I was, it was a bit painful to watch because I was literally staring at it. But yeah, it's quite a quick install. Um, and it's a pro well, I guess, I mean, if I'm being honest, it's a bit slow. I mean, if you are uh, doing like an arch install, it would literally be a couple, probably not even five minutes. It would just be like a couple of minutes. And yeah, that's a modern system. Well, it's this. This is... An operating system that will be turning 19 in a couple of months. I know it's, you know, a more updated version because, you know, it's 2007 iMac. But um, I'm just saying, presumably it's going to boot into the... It sounds like that old Minecraft door sounds. That's what I think. It sounds like also if the light dies um i apologize this is going to run out oh big screen i've got that appears first Falling into zeros and ones, bombing all our futures. And don't forget, there's only five countries. No, six, that is. Sorry. Um, I can't see the mouse. I can't see the mouse. There we go, I can see it now. Um, do not transfer my information, British. Um, don't care about Apple ID, Command Q, skip, and get to work. And here we are on Tiger for Intel. There we go. You can't really see the version number because of stupid fingerprint. That's probably not a good idea. I'll think about it. Yeah, the software update. I'll find it funny. It still works. It still works. I believe Tiger is like the oldest version right? where software update works. Uh, hopefully, I can adjust the mouse size because, oh my god, I cannot. I really struggled to see the mouse. Okay. Um, please tell me. Uh, okay. Um, mouse. Um, cursor size. There you go. It's much bigger. 
Lot of stuff. Nice and organised. Contrast honestly doesn't really do much. Um, in this case, so I'm probably going to keep it like this. And let's install some updates. It wants my password. Yay. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, no, by the way, I do have a theory that um, the backlight in of this screen isn't actually dead. It's just the cable for it's not unplugged in properly or something. Because um, as I was saying earlier, I don't think the previous owner really cared too much about it. Considering it was going to go to the dump if it didn't sell um, and stuff. So yeah. Um, if you look, I've got my website open on Safari, um, which is nice, and it wants me to restart for updates. So I shall do that. Also, I will find that the mouse cursor's very pixelated, so they did not account for people scaling up their mouse and to notice that, which is a bit worrying, or more like they couldn't be bothered to make a vector mouse or whatever. But yeah. That's going to be it for today. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's a bit, I, I mean, I do apologise for the you know, horrible screen that you can't see because there's no backlight lighting it up. But um, that's how it is for now. Um, I'll, I'll be ordering an adapter cable, media VI to HDMI or whatever. I'll order a cable for it so I can actually connect it up to something to like an external display which would make this a lot nicer to look at if the actual backlight itself is dead and it's not like a cable thing um yeah so that's gonna be it for today hope you enjoyed this and um yeah goodbye